Hi, I'm Sarah from Jimmy Beans Wool, and today we're gonna go over everything you need to know about Barocco Mochi. Here are some key things you need to know about Barocco Mochi. This yarn is a heavy worsted slash Aran weight yarn. It's made from 37% baby alpaca, 35% nylon, 26% fine merino wool, and 2% other fiber. This yarn comes in a 50 gram, 191 yard ball, and it's great for lightweight but warm cowls, cardigans, ponchos, and shawls. Now let's get into the detailed review. All right, so I have to confess that I am totally in love with Barocco Mochi. Um, this yarn is really, really beautiful. Um, it's got these little tweed kind of speckles all through it. That's the 2% other fiber that um, makes up this yarn. And in all the different colorways, we have these same pops of bright color that really shine through your project in these otherwise very delicate and soft colorways um, that I really love. It does come in quite a few colorways. I've got a good number of them here. We've got our very delicate neutrals, a good selection of blues, and my favorite are these, the plum and this green that I don't know the name of. Um, so let's go ahead and bring up a strand of this to show you. Um, this yarn is a nylon structure and so there is a nylon tube that the other fibers are blown into and that creates this very soft halo effect um, but it does have a kind of a chainette structure that you can see if you look very closely. Um, let's get into some of the details. So Barocco recommends that you knit or crochet this with a 5.5 millimeter hook or needle so that would be a US 9 knitting needle, um, and I would personally recommend you use a blunt tip needle, um, like wood or bamboo, um, something like that, because I feel like a sharp needle tip would get caught in the chain structure of this yarn if you're not careful with that. Um, but as always, you can choose whatever needle you are most comfortable with. Um, the recommended gauge for this is 16 stitches and 24 rows over four inches, and they do recommend that you hand wash it. And I would recommend that as well because when you hand wash and lay flat to dry, you um, can make sure that your stitches are not collapsed on each other, which can sometimes happen with a yarn like this. So we also have um, a swatch knit up. Um, this is just a plain stockinette stitch in knitting, and you can see We've got really good stitch definition for something with a little bit of a halo, um, so you can see that. Although if you do flip it over, if you wanted to do garter stitch, it would be very, um, you can see on the edges here, we've got some garter stitch. We can, it would blend together fairly well as well. Um, I do love the pops of color. They generally blend in. Some of the brighter ones do stick out, um, but this yarn would be really perfect for a soft cowl. Um, is what I really want to make out of it, or a hat even. Um, I would love to make a brioche hat out of this because it would be so squishy and so soft. Um, and also very warm and lightweight, so kind of the best of all the worlds in my opinion there. Um, other than that, let us know in the comments below what you would make or what you think of this yarn. All right, that was everything you need to know about Barocco Mochi, the perfect yarn for something lightweight but still warm. Thanks for watching. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing because we have a lot more yarn reviews, tutorials, and other fiber fun like that. Happy crafting.